Hey guys, today once again we are in Goldmark 7. Over here we have a MIP2 infotainment system. This is Discover Media system and I'm going to show you how to enable auxiliary audio input over here in the uh, source menu. So you can see that there's no aux option over here, but if you fit that aux input, there's a way to code it in. Of course, there's a there's wiring that needs to be done over here, and you need to connect the aux port to the main unit in the glove box. But today, let's focus on the coding. So over here on my phone, I have OBD11 already connected to the car, and I'm going to enter list of modules scroll down to module 5f which is the infotainment uh, mine unit over here we are going to enter long coding and in long coding we can uh, look for the auxiliary option over here on the descriptive list or we can go to bit byte view which is the direct um, direct option for coding in this unit we need to go to byte uh, number eight you can see over here that we are in byte index 8 and we are looking for bit number 4 which is disabled right now so let's go let's enable it slide to write new value and as soon as we do it we have this auxiliary option over here we don't need to reboot the unit okay so we can go out disconnect from and um, uh, from the car and we can see that the auxiliary option is over here. We can select it. And right now, um, the mine unit will listen to the audio streams that are uh, going through the three and a half millimeter uh, jack input over here in this front compartment. Okay, so that's it. Uh, if in the description below this video, you will find some more details about this coding procedure. Give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, quick tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.